enga mana, enga reo, enga onga hauefa, e rangatirama, e kuima, e koroma, e hui hui nei ngā mihi mahana ki a koutou. Mihi hoki ki te mana whenua o te rohe nei, ara ki ngai tahu te whanui, tēnā koutou katoa. Ko ai iau i tū mei mua i a koutou, ko ngāti hāmoa toku iwi. E mua mua peana si i levi inga i lea tua, Fa tailo na lofa malo na nga lei wa ulia mal man wia le nei fa moe moe fa tailo fa atu le pa ia mal man malu wa fia tailo fa tailo fa tailo fa lava ko e New Zealand toku waka ko lava timo rawa rawa inu oku ingoa fano ko Daisy toku ingoa ko te kai papa toku korero. Ko te whakamana o te tangata. W-H-A-K-A-M-A-N-A spells whakamana. It's the indigenous Māori word for empowerment. I found whakamana at my local footy club. Beautiful. Bone crusher. She's the upward, outward and future-facing CEO of the Heavy Hitters Club. See Jersey 6 and 7? They're the multilingual and strategic playmakers who poke gana the rugby ball from any corner of the field. She's big on fundamentals. Wairuatanga, the spiritual, plus whanaungatanga, relationships, plus kotahitanga, collective action, equals bridging our systemic silos. E hara takutoa i te toa takitini, I toa takitahi, he toa takitini. Because a champion team will always beat a team of champions, right? Whakamana is jazz music. Agile in thought and creativity, she scats through the defense. Agile in action, she's the bull running it straight up the middle. Her synergy, so in the pocket. She sprints onto a floating ball, hashtag, where's the one? Whakamana eats burpees for breakfast. Broncos for lunch, and F45 Papa Nui for dinner, up, down, and back 10 meters for the whole 80 minutes. And when I want to give up, Whakamana kneels at the altar, where capitalism and activism collide, and whispers rhymes through her Nike megaphone. Daisy, ask not if your dreams are crazy, but are they crazy enough? Sis, keep pushing to that dark place, Juxtaposed there is the light, the hum, the flow. In the hum, you can see the marathon finish line. In the hum, you're marshalling troops into formation and you are Beyonce all at the same time. <laughs> Whakamana is altruistic, leaving no man, woman or child in need of a cultural home. Her kaupapa, be kind, be kind, be kind. Whakamana's K-tape, sock tape, and 3D tape mummified body shows up every week, and I quickly learn that effort and respect are the only currencies that matter here. In this rugby league arena, these mana wahine, playwrights of power, gladiators if you will, continue to allow me to borrow their bravery and wear their bigger shoes with which to leave deeper prints. She's the Jacinda to my Chloe, and the Sierra to my Paris Goble, and it's time to level up. W-H-A-K-A-M-A-N-A -A -A spells whakamana. It's the indigenous Māori word for empowerment. I found whakamana at my local footy club. Kia ora. <laughs> Spoken word poetry finds its origins in many oratory traditions. And what I love about it is that anyone can do it. I've taught it sitting on a mat with primary school aged kids. I fed my students when I used to teach at Kashmir High School. And even all the way on a marae in Kaikoura with one of the aunties and everyone in between. It is first and foremost an idea, your story, your truth, 
that is well written and well crafted onto a piece of paper upon which we add this element of performance. Thank you, TEDx, for inviting me to share two pieces. That first poem, Whakamana, I wanted to pose the question, what can leadership in the community teach us about partnerships, participation, and collective impact? Did you know that the word tattoos etymology finds its origins in the root word, Pacifica word, ta tau, ta to strike, tau to finish, ta ta to keep striking. You can almost hear the tattooist, the tufunga, tap, tap, tapping. Ta tau, that which is right, balanced, and finished. Now you know where the word tattoo comes from. The second piece I'm going to share is on our Samoan marks of mana. For males, it's a right into adulthood. Theirs is called the bea, it's very detailed. For females, ours is called the malu, which is the unique diamond motif at the back of our legs, and it translates literally to shade, shelter, protector. And I wonder if you would be so brave to share and participate with me in a little wee Samoan engagement that we do every time we get around a campfire. Because it's cold, so if you can put your hands together and rub them like so, it's mili, so I'll say mili, and then I'll say batia, which is one clap. Batia! Batia! Sorry about it. And then I'll say loa pati, which is two claps. Let's try that. Loa pati! Loa pati! And then we're going to add this element of performance in it. So feel free to have your best faces and sound effects are welcome. So I'll say loa pati taika, and you're gonna do two claps. Sound effects and facials are on. Loa pati taika. And then, you know Samoans are creative because we don't have any in the islands, but you're gonna go loa pati buffalo. Ooh. <laughs> Let's try that. Loa pati buffalo. I love it here, gentlemen in the front. And the final one for all you cool cats out there, Lua Pati Snake. <laughs> Let's try that. Lua Pati Snake. <laughs> Let's take that from the top. And at the end, I'm going to share my second piece, La A, which shares my story of getting my traditional tattoo. TEDx 2018. Mili, 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 Lua pati, lua pati taika, lua pati buffalo, lua pati snake. <laughs> An owl chisel has bitten my skin, and as black marks tell this tale of Siamese demigods singing. It's a ta o fa fine ai le, ta ta o ta ne. Only the woman, only the woman get the tattoo. Diving for enchanted treasures, the gods messed the lyrics up and came up singing. It's a ta o ta ne ai le, ta ta o fa fine. Only the men. Only the men get the tattoo. The breeze does the wasapos around the apia hut. My checklist, one matua. Blow a kiss to dad. Thank mum for tap, tap, tapping chrysalises on, on my tongue. My Samoan ngana gives voice, wings. Two, mealofa. Ten yards of material, pour more cigarettes and bottles of vodka wrapped in their duty-free packaging. Check. <laughs> Three, my hubby. Is he here? Where is he? Did I bring him? Oh, sorry. There he is. My game face is sicky and I'm expiring, I mean perspiring just a little. This is it. There is no turning back. The Tufunga walks in with the swagger of a lead actor, takes out his Hollywood kit and lays out his Alta chisels. Are you ready? He says. Handing him the mail offer, I nod. Sulu Ape is Taika Waititi, three in one actor, director, and producer. Motifs etched in his brilliant mind, all he draws on my thighs are three lines middle, left, right. Brief in and hold, 
he says, and as I breathe in, his support actors stretch my skin. Suluape picks up his hammer and his chisel, and he tap, tap, taps, black lines all the way down. He tap, tap, taps, black lines all the way down. The support actors wipe my blood with the damp muslin cloth. I think of my daughters, Hadassah, Micah, and Anna. And I breathe in sky. And he tap, tap, taps, if it's all stars, tap, tap, taps, ngongo seagulls. I breathe in land. And he tap, tap, taps, angufe worms and goluse crosses. I breathe in sea. And he tap, tap, taps, alu alu jellyfish and ave al starfish. The vi ali centipede crawl down the backs of my knees, illustrating service of the past, service of the future, service of the untitled. Ainga, church, village, nation, world. It's all a lot, all they said. See, I have not yet met the woman I am becoming, but I know that she stands on the shoulders of giants. She is the ribcages of Salamasina queens and Nafanua warriors. She is cookie, building empires with the hustle of a beast mode bloodline. She is the great great grandmothers of the Falelua wa Inga Malofie, who in Tata was threatened with extinction by colonialism. They sculled some cover blasted some gangster music, and stood with their tani. They fought for these marks of mana, fought for these defiant texts, scripts, and testimonies of nationalism and beauty. It's all a lo lotto, they said. And as he... My kneecaps, I understand why. If I can handle this, girl, I can handle anything. There is no turning back. I have made that sacred covenant between being Samoan and living Samoan. I am Malu, protector. I am Malu, shade. I am Malu, shelter. I am Malu, shield. I am Malu, I am Malu, I am Malu. Olela eil to my Samoa, the adorning of a Samoan queen.